For example 2, we just make sure we can multiply these together by checking the indexes. The indexes match. There's no add addition or subtraction here, so I don't need to distribute. So I'm just going to do the number parts with the number parts. So this is going to multiply this, and the radical parts are going to multiply the radical parts. So I end up with 2 times 2x is 4x, square root. 10x times 35x is 350x squared. Now we just have to make sure that there, are, there we can take out any perfect square factors out of the 350. And we have the x squared factor here. So we're going to first of all factor the 350. There is a perfect square factor of 25. Okay, so 25 times 14 is going to give us 350. Okay, so 10 times 25 is 250, 4 times 25 is 100, so we have 350, and then x squared. Now because these parts are perfect squares, they need to come outside the square root. So we end up with 4x times 5x, and then we're left inside the square root is 14. So we end up with 20x squared, square root 14. For example 3, the, there are pluses in here, so we have to make sure we distribute. So we end up 2 times x minus 2 times 2 root, root 2x. The inside is going to be plus 10x squared. Last, it's going to be minus. Again, make sure you check your signs. Inside times inside, so we end up with 20x squared. Now, to simplify this, we need to just make sure that we take out any perfect square factors. So we have 2x minus 2 root 2x plus x square root 10. The x square comes out on the outside. Okay, and then minus, there's a perfect square of 4, so it becomes 2x. Take out the perfect square of x squared. So what's left over in here is just going to be times 5. And looking at this, there are no common roots that we can put together, so this is as far as we can go with this. This one here is what we call a conjugate pair. So we have root 2 plus root 5, root 2 minus root 5. It's the same expression except one is plus, one is minus. And what ends up happening with these is uh, some terms will cancel out. So when we distribute this, we get root 2 times root 2, which is 2, minus root 2 times 5 is root 10, plus root 5 times root 2 is root 10. These will cancel out. And then we end up with minus root 5 times root 5 is just 5. And so the middle terms of these expressions always tend to cancel out. So when we have this, what we call a conjugate pair, the middle terms cancel, and then we end up with 2 minus 5, so we end up with negative 3.